The audibles are set. The depth charts are ready. Buckle your seat belts, boys and girls. We're going to fill our first spot in the club championships here at the Broncos Club Championship presented by Snickers. Noonan with the ball first TD. For a guy like Noonan who wants to establish the run, it feels like this first drive is the most important of the game. Definitely. And, you know, it's always difficult getting the ball first because the nerves, you know, it's a big game. We're playing for $7,500 here. It's a big game. So those nerves, you always kind of want to get the ball at half. But Noonan, as you can see, he's in the Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook. We're going to see him come out in a lot of trips tight end with two running backs. But new to Madden 21 is the new personnel audibling. So he's going to be able to audible down to things like I form close, strong close, and be able to utilize the run with some great personnel having a running back at receiver. Talking with the uh, competitive players, that was their favorite ad in Madden 21, the ability to have some offensive flexibility. As you can see, the audible down to I form close. Dante Culpepper at the helm for Noonan. He'll hand it off. Reggie to go, Bush trying friend. to find some room up the middle, but nowhere to go. Yeah, a little power O first play there. Interesting to note in the latest patch, you know, the stretch is not as overpowered as it was. So I think we might see guys go to that power O or that dive there more. And Jeff was ready for that power O in the first play of the game. Starting off in that trips tight end formation, you see Terry McLaurin out there wide right. Scary Terry, Stefan Diggs in the slot, number 14. And it's going to be Culpepper dropping back to pass, second and hey, 11. The top goal bowler gets it into coverage, oh, almost oh. picked off by Sanders. What am I doing? Oh, oh don't do it again, crazy. Bro, it, don't it looked like Newton would have had him. He just needed to wait about two or three more ah, seconds oh, because the corner oh, route was going to clear that cloud defender. And Jeff is sick about it. Big third and 11 already on Noonan's first drive. TD, was that throw the nerves you were talking about? I think a little bit, but I think he just got impatient, and I think nerves might play a part of that. If he just waited two more seconds, he would have had a big play. That's a fucking box. Nowhere Stepping to left and nowhere to go. Oh and first drive for Noonan, one run, two passes, negative like one yard. He's got to bring out the pu -pu -pu punt unit. Oh, man, oh, Noonan said he needed to be able to pass the ball in two pass plays. It does not Don't look good. Jeff now nope, in the best situation you could have. Could he get loose with Dion? No. Did I answer your question? Did I? <laughs> How'd that go? Yeah, it's a pretty good answer right there. But, yeah, Jeff, that's the best situation you could ask for. When you get ball at half and you get a stop on your first drive, Jeff can control the clock now. He can slow, he can slow down. His nerves are not – he doesn't have any nerves anymore because – he got the first stop he needed. Whether he just milks some clock, kicks three, it doesn't matter because he's going to get balled half. Even if he has to punt, he still has control of this game. Crazy part about Turbo Jeff, TD, talking about respect. I mean, he's a two-time back-to-back Broncos club champion looking for the three-peat. But he's almost one of the forgotten members on 818. There's so many big names out there. You, you almost forget that Turbo Jeff is there, and this is a very accomplished Madden player. Yeah, he laps with some of the best players in the world. Like you said, that 818 crew is probably, you know, this. I'd say there's three elite crews right now. We're talking about EMB. We're talking about 818, TNC. Uh, might be one of the two, one or two that I'm missing. But those are the three most elite crews right now. When you got reps like that versus the best players in the world, man, it only helps you get better. I, I'm getting tweets from the NFA crew right now. Saying, oh, yeah. Kick, I knew I was missing one. Kick Tyler Davis off this broadcast. Not even going to get a shout-out. First game, not off to a good start. As, let's see what Jeff does offensively. He'll be running out the former Southern Miss Golden Eagle, Brett Favre. He'll hand it off Reggie Bush, right side, picking up three. Most of these guys using that Reggie Bush with the backfield master ability. And I think it's important to uh, point out, Nick, that this year, you know, the AP is so important with this full mutt. Mut, that AP, you're going to have be able to, you know, use points. You have 10 AP on offense and defense to be able to have these abilities. That Reggie Bush backfield master, he's going to be able to run better routes. He's going to be able to catch the ball better. You're going to have an advanced route tree. So it's crucial for these guys on offense. Far about second and six. Corner blitz set. Quick throw. Left side. Easy pitch and catch. As to the 49er, Raheem Mostert. Good thing here in Madden. 21 ultimate team in the club championships. There's no injuries. Mostert's on the field, unlike most of the 49ers right now. <laughs> and both guys using that Mostert at receiver at 97 speed. One of the fastest running backs you can use right now in full mutt. And we're seeing a lot of the same stuff here from Jeff. He's very balanced. He's going down to the power row on the weak side. Oh, big hand oh, lands on lover on Reggie Bush picking up two. Ty, what have you noticed here in Madden 21 compared to Madden 20 in terms of hit stick force fumbles? Are we seeing more or less than we were last year? 
Yeah, I think it's a little different this year. We're seeing more, you know, the run is not as overpowered last year, so you're seeing more big hits. That Taylor Maze is one of the best cards you can get. It's on pretty much everyone's team. A lot of guys using Secure Tackler with him. Um, he's, he's, you know, he's a beast, 6'4", 95 speed plus, so one of the best cards you can get. Oh, curl route oh, under. Oh, That's oh, Tyler oh, Lockett oh, with oh, the oh, catch oh. on that Seahawks wide receiving core. Man, that... Listen, anyway. Russell Wilson's great. You know I'm a big Russell Wilson fan, TD. But it's got to be nice throwing it to DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett every day. Man, DK Metcalf is just a freak. He's like the next Randy Moss slash Julio Jones combined. Some weapons that Russ has. That's why he's on an MVP season. One in doubt, corner route, Vernon Davis with the catch and the first down. And a certain feeling you get when you reel and you spill. Turbo Jeff. He's, uh, he's never quiet when he plays the game. Always always rapping along to whatever he's listening to. Back to Bush we go, and Taylor Mays cuts him down in the backfield. Yeah, the difference in this game so far has been the Turbo Jeff's ability to pass, and we've seen that Brett Favre with Gunslinger be crucial to him so far. You know, he threw that low ball curl, that nice corner route right there. That Gunslinger really just opens up your offense so much this year. It adds extra velocity. You're going to be able to get quicker animations to get the ball out. And the difference so far is Turbo Jeff's, when he's had to pass, which I think we'll see again here, he's been effective. 25 years old, Lynn, Massachusetts native, second and 12. He's going to keep hitting these curl routes to the 36-yard line. Gets a chunk there, give him five, sets up a third and manageable. Yeah, you see Jeff keep going to that low ball curl. Noonan's in a lot of zone coverage right now. Um, he doesn't have an answer for these underneath routes. And Turbo Jeff just peppering the, the little hitches and the curls. And a big third and six here, especially for Noonan, because Jeff is in field goal range. Uh, if you're Noonan, you got to get off the field. Third and six, far. Over the middle, angle route. That's Reggie Bush. Needed six, oh give him seven. Turbo Jeff looks like an episode of ER out here. He's getting absolutely surgical. Just a little mental mistake right there by Noonan. He's got to set up faster. He got stuck on his D tackle right there. Turbo Jeff with great recognition. He's able to throw that angle route and pick up a huge first down. Noonan really just hurting himself right now. If you missed the first part of this game, Noonan three and out, 0 for 2 passing, lost a yard on a run play, had to punt it away. This is Jeff's first drive of the game. Back to Bush, trying to find some room running the ball. There's one thing Noonan's done well, it is defending the run game as Reggie Bush averaging just over a yard per carry. This is the one thing I'll say that I don't like about these this audibling down. A lot of these guys don't have any passes when they audible down. So you can predict, if he goes down to I form close, you know he's running and Noonan just puts his safeties and spies he's able to shut that down. Well, we've reached the end of one and we are scoreless. Turbo Jeff on the drive. 27 yard line. First drive of the game. He's in the trips tight end formation. Three wide split to the left. One tight end right side of that formation. That's Vernon Davis. And as far drops back to pass, he'll find Bush underneath for another six yard pick. What do you remember Reggie Bush as, TD? Are you a, you, you see him as a saint? You see him as a line? What do you, what do you see Reggie Bush as? Yeah, man. Well, first, I think of him as a college football legend. I mean, I think that everyone does, but I, I see him more as a saint. I think when he went to with Sean Payton, it really opened it, you know, opened up their offense. Uh, I think he was with Deuce McAllister, I believe, right? They had that great yeah. one-two combo. So, I do think of him as a saint, but I think first and foremost, he's just a college football legend. Okay. I'll never forget watching the Bush push, and I'll never forget how mad I was as an Ohio State fan. <laughs> Except throw the flag. You can't just do that. I think I'd be yelled. I, I got to call games with Boogs this weekend. I, I think I'd be yelled at if I didn't say I remembered him as a lion. Like, he, he, yeah. First, first you forget the NFA crew. Then if I didn't say the lion, like seriously, he wouldn't talk to me the whole show. Fourth and two. Turbo Jeff's leaving the offense on the field. Trips tight end. Favre in the gun. He will take a timeout. Think about this a little further. What's your thought like here? I had a feeling he was going to do that. I didn't think he would go for it, but he's, it looks like he's really thinking about it. I don't know. I like the way he played defense first drive. It is only two yards. Jeff, known kind of more as a conservative guy, but it looks like he's going to go for it. Nick, this is a huge play in the game. There's one thing working for Jeff. 
His pass offense has not been stopped at all. He's been able to move the ball at will through the air. Fourth and about two. Lock it in the slot. Terry McLaurin wide left. Mostert in motion to the right side. Favre takes the snap. Waiting, looking, left side. He's got him. That's Vernon Davis. He needed two. He picked up six in the form of a touchdown. It's a game of inches. He got it just over the linebacker's head. What a dot right there by Jeff. He waited for Noonan to bite on the little baby hitch. He throws the post. Just a great route combo, great spacing, and Turbo Jeff with a 7-0 lead. Vernon Davis, Super Bowl champion with the Broncos. And right now, is Vernon Davis the best tight end in the game right now? There's a big debate whether it's him or it's Waller. Yeah, and you're going to see a lot of guys using both tight ends. As we take a look at this replay, just look at that. He's patient. He waits for him to bait on the hitch. He throws to Vernon Davis on the post. Beautiful play design right there by Turbo Jeff. And now what does Noonan have as a response? Three and out on the first drive. We talked about the emotion, looking for the revenge. Didn't have it on the first drive. There goes Culpepper taking off. Ran a 4-5-2-40 at the combine. Showing off the wheels there, picking up a first down. It's so fun to see Dante Culpepper and Mutt, one of my favorite quarterbacks of all time. I remember getting mad in 2 back in the day, and I was fired up. I was only about <laughs> eight, nine years old. So to see Dante Culpepper in Mutt, a lot of fun. Great uh, scramble right there by Noonan. Now, I don't want him to get out of his game plan here. Stick to what got you to the dance. Here we go. Mix in the run as well. Get outside, Stretch, run, man. Trying to, Come on. Trying to get something oh. going. That right side of the line dominated right now. He'll lose two. Said he wanted the pass more, TD. Talked to him yesterday, said he, the pass was going to be key, but so far, he's yet to complete a pass. It's been tough for him. It's been tough for him. Both these guys playing great run defense. Um, Noonan's going to have to pass if he wants this, to win this game, and he told us that the other night. He needs to cook some dots up, and that's not really his game, but he said he's been working on it. Let's see. This is a big drive for him. Clorin in motion to the right side. Second down and 12 for Culpepper. A two-man rush from Jeff. Good playmaker back across the field. That's Reggie Thanks, Bush boy, takes the big hit. Yeah. There's another ad here in Madden 21. You're going to see that all day long. Those reach forward animations. Picks Noonan up a first down. Yeah, and I think Noonan, he's got to take a page out of one of our own analysts, Serious Mo. He's one of the best freestylers in the Madden community history. Noonan with a great freestyle job right there. I think Noonan's going to have to do some of that if he wants to get this W. Moster in motion this time as Culpepper stepping right in trouble. Oh, it was an inaccurate pass, but it was just accurate enough for Raheem Moster to skies for that ball. A fortunate break for Noonan. I see a little smirk coming from Noonan right there, living life a little bit on the edge. He's getting a little out of control now with this Culpepper. I like that he's freestyling, but you got to be a little more controlled, but that's a big first down. Uh, kind of a, a uh, odd route combo. You know, you can see him, he's a little stressed. He needs to slow the nerves down. He's still got a good chance here. Um, I like to see him mixing a little inside zone out of this formation as well. Culpepper, uh-oh, user rush up the middle. Mace forced the fumble. Oh, it's set like there for the take, and it's scooped up by Turbo oh, Jeff. Bring in the heat, and Dante Culpepper couldn't get out of the kitchen. The user rush right up the A-gap. What a play by Turbo Jeff. And you see, Nick, that Taylor Mays is one of the most important cards in this tournament. Pretty much everyone has him, and he comes up with a huge play, and now he's in complete control. You know, Taylor Mays, in his NFL career, one forced fumble, How's no interceptions. Picked, oh, oh, my God. Picked no. off, going back the other way. How's he's talking about picked? a guy who is just straight up a Madden legend. That's Taylor Mays. Oh, man. Risky, risky by Jeff right there. Noonan's got to be sick. He needed that pick. And Jeff, you know, I would probably come out and run the ball a little bit here. It looks like he's going for he's going for it all. He wants to take to blow this game completely open. How is that not a pick, man? He can hear Noonan. How about that on tilt right now. He's taking the shot. That's a post round. Five, That's Gary one, Terry. Oh he's God, got one. wheels. He's down to the one yard line. Terry McLaurin showing why he's one of the best receivers here in Madden 21. Noonan finally switches to man defense after all those times running zone, and Jeff recognizes it, has that deep post to Terry McLaurin. He just destroys his man-to-man, -man, and wow, what a play down to the one. And now you're in perfect position if you're Jeff. You need to use some of this clock. You're going to be possibly be up 14 and get ball at half. So I saw him pull up at the goal line. 
wants to use that clock. First and goal. Reggie Bush, top of the eye. It's going to be given to the fullback. That's Derrick Henry. And Derrick Henry knows what to do. Lower the shoulder and let that big boy into the end zone. Another touchdown for the two-time defending Broncos champ. Gives it to the big dog. He, you saw him come on I form close. He, he's audible to goal line from I form close because he had all those tight ends in there. Just an easy one yard fullback dive and Jeff in complete control. This is the do or, this is the do or die drive right here for Noonan. You got to get at least some points on the board to stay alive. That's all I was looking for from Derrick Henry on Sunday for my fantasy team. I just needed one of those one yard touchdowns. Coach Vrabel wasn't, wasn't into it. He, he wasn't looking to help my fantasy team. Let's take a look at the big play that set up that touchdown. It's Scary Terry on the post route. Yeah, you see that man-to-man, -man and DRC just can't hang with Terry McLaurin on that post. And it was, honestly, by Jeff right there, he, I don't know if he purposely did that. It looked like he kind of did. But going down the one-yard line, he, got, he was able to take some more time off the clock. And now Noonan is in a pass-only situation. 14 to nothing. Jeff's quest for a three-peat. Off to a great start. Rolling right with Culpepper. He'll take off. This has been the one part of his offense that has worked. And he will hurry back to the line. You see the ninth second runoff at the top. Under 50 seconds to play in the first half. There's a lot of clock on this drive. Stepping left. Nobody opened downfield. Have to throw this one away. TD, how important is it for Noonan to get points on this drive? Yeah, this is crucial. These 38 seconds are so important. He need, I'm so impressed with Jeff's defense right now, though. He has a great scheme out of this 3-3-5 wide. He's messing with his uh, zone drop sliders a lot. He's moving them back to 20 to 25 yards, which is a new feature in Madden 21. But as you can see, he's only rushing about two, three guys, and sometimes he'll mix in the user rush up the middle. It's just a great scheme right now from Turbo Jeff. Second and ten. Oh, I thought he was going to load up and try to throw the seam move. route instead. He'll, he'll be patient. You can hear him saying this defense has him boxed up. Yeah, you can see it. There's just nothing open for Noonan. And, and Jeff is just being patient. He's adjusting those sliders, like I said. And Noonan's got to cook something up, man. These, this zone coverage is really boxing him. Does have two timeouts. See Jeff's plan has been sending two, dropping nine. He will do it once again. Usering with Mays. Oh, he's lucky really he didn't get a throw out of sack animation oh there. It'll God. just fall to the ground harmlessly. Fourth and ten, and Jeff will force a second first half punt from Noonan. And just domination. Yep. Domination by Jeff. I mean, he's, I, I don't even, he's got one timeout. It's tough this year with the runoff. I think he'll probably just run the ball here, get to the half with the ball. But just a dominant performance here from the first half from Turbo Jeff. Does have 22 seconds. Can use the sidelines. See what Noonan dials up defensively. As he'll throw this one away. And he'll get an intentional grounding. You can't just do that. You can't just chuck that ball out of bounds when you're between the tackles. Come on. Come on, Brett. You know better than that. Looks like we'll see him just run the ball here. Try to get a big play. If not, I think he's cool with going to the half up 14. Blocking outside. And it looks like both players are comfortable letting that clock run out. 14 to nothing, Turbo Jeff on top at the half. And man, uh, TD, that's about as dominant of a first half. At 14 nothing doesn't seem to encapsulate how dominant Jeff was. I don't think Jeff could have planned for a better first half to go his way like that. And he's going to get ball. If you're Jeff right here, all you really want to do is use this clock. Ideally, if you can get out of the third quarter with ball, that's exactly what you want no matter what. 14 to nothing, the score at the half. Uh, TD for Noonan, somebody who had so much emotion coming into this game, wanting to get revenge. Not off to an ideal start, especially with Jeff getting the ball to start the second half, but there's still plenty of time here in this game. Plenty of time, but he's got to get a stop on this drive. And it's disappointing for Noonan because, like we said, he talked about wanting to be more balanced, wanting to be able to pass the ball effectively, and Jeff just has the perfect defense for him. Yeah, Jeff looking for that three-peat. He has... Started off with some suffocating defense against Noonan. Uh, what do you try to do offensively if you're Noonan? Because it seems like the pass isn't working, the run isn't working. Wh what do you have left? 
Yeah, he he's only had a few different route combos. He's had about three plays. He, you know, like I said earlier, I think he's gonna have to freestyle. He's gonna have to make something happen. He may need a turnover. He's got to get this first stop though, but. It's not looking good for him. I don't know because this run game's bagged. His passing plays are bagged. He's going to have to think outside the box and try to make something happen, whether it be rolling out with Culpepper, maybe some more corner routes. I don't know. It's it's going to be tough. He's got to think of something. Yeah, he's been able to get uh, some movement on the ground with Dante Culpepper. As we take a look at the history of this Denver Broncos club championship, and man, you talk about prior champions. We said Turbo Jeff. Back-to-back -back champion. He took down Newton in Madden 2019-7. A hard-fought game. Jeff's defense once again standing tall. In Madden 19, more of the same. This time he took down Franchise in a absolute barn burner. 28-26. But in Madden 18, it was that man, Young Drini. He's bounced around. He's won a couple club titles himself as the winner of this Denver Broncos Club Championship. I'll be presented with a pretty sweet gift, a sign helmet by the Broncos own Philip Lindsay. Big thank you to the Broncos and Philip Lindsay for putting that together. That's a great piece for the mantle at home. More than anything though, TD, more than the helmet, more than the, the title, more than the money. It's about getting a spot in that final 32 for that chance to compete for the largest top prize in MCS history. And for Turbo Jeff, he's in great position right now. Does he need to make any adjustments whatsoever? No, he really doesn't. His defense has been phenomenal. Like I said, this first drive of the second half, you really just want to use this clock. Even if you can just go down the field, kick three, even if you could, like the our goal is to get out of the third quarter, um, but I, he's in perfect position right now. He doesn't have to do much, just use that clock. Looking offensively at Turbo Jeff, uh, it was Scary Terry able to get open on that uh, man play. If you're Noonan, what sort of defense are you trying to run? It, it seems like your your lose lose scenario. He's killing you with the underneath passes in that zone, and the minute you switch to man, he's hitting McLaurin over the top. Do you just hope that you can get a pick out of that zone defense and keep everything in front of you? Yeah, I think you can't go to man. Turbo Jeff has too many beaters for that. I think I'd like to see Noonan just try to bring some pressure. He's got to find a way, whether it be a, a user rush up the middle, bring some guys off the edge. But you got to force Jeff into a mistake. That's really the only chance you have at this point. Well, Jeff's getting the ball to start the second half. Uh, uh, game plan wise for Jeff TD, we talked about that that first uh, drive he put on in the first half. It was those underneath passes, safe throws, more of the same. Is it concerning at all if you're Jeff that you haven't been able to get any sort of run game going? Uh, I mean, when you're 14 nothing and getting ball at half, I don't think he's too worried about it right now. Like I said, he could he could literally just try to run the clock, punt the ball, and play defense. With the way he's playing defense, he doesn't need much more offense. He's got those 14 points compared to how Noonan's playing offense, so I think he's in a good spot. Can can you see Turbo Jeff's house out of your window? Like, I need you to look and see. Like, can you see him? Like, how far away is Turbo Jeff from you? Is he is he down the block? What are we talking about here? Yeah, it's I'm shocked when he told me that. And it says when it says Lynn Mash there, I'm like, wow. And we haven't got to link up, unfortunately, because of the COVID and everything going on. But definitely, I got to get some tips from Turbo Jeff when it comes to Madden. Because, man, being a three-time times, three -time Broncos champion, I need to hang out with him and give, have him give me some tips so I can be another club time, another time club champion. We talked about how Turbo Jeff, he's got some of the best lab partners in the world in 818. Noonan down 14 to nothing. Uh, the, you know, this is an example. It, it isn't a talent gap right now. I, I really think these guys are very close. We looked at their records, very close in terms of records coming into the tournament. But for Turbo Jeff, this is where preparation comes key. And, and having those lab partners, TD, it's invaluable. Without a doubt, I think that might be the difference too. Turbo Jeff, like we said, plays with some of the best players in the world. Noonan does play with good players. You know, you mentioned Jay Bird, Blair Walsh Project, uh, QC player, but the difference right now is that that lab preparation. Turbo Jeff just seems so prepared on defense for everything that Noonan wants to do. We are ready to get back to gameplay and talk about a crucial drive. Tyler Davis, Noonan needs the defense to step up big time. Bush outside, big hit, but still going to pick up five. There's nothing worse than getting the big hit you're looking for, and Angie Bush still finds a way to pick up half the yardage you need. As you see, Jeff, he is in no rush right now. He's taking some sips of water. He's letting this clock run. If you're Turbo Jeff, you are hiking the ball at one on the play clock every single play on this drive. Second out of five. Back to the ground game we go. Back to Reggie Bush we go this time. We got plenty gone. Maybe two yards. It's going to be a third and three for the two-time champ. 
See, maybe I'm nitpicking. I don't know what it is, but I don't think Jeff should be hiking the ball at 10 on the play clock. You're up 14. Just use every I single second. That, that's that extra advanced thing that, you know, I want the viewers out there to know that clock management, in my opinion, is, is you're basically playing the clock sometimes more than your opponent. Clock management is so crucial, especially when you get to this level of competitive Madden. Far third and three. Dropping back, two-man rush from Noonan. Trying oh, to get out of there. Is Aaron Donald almost getting a sack. It's going to be fourth down for Jeff. <sighs> a little yeah, bit of a decision here, Tyler. I think you got to punt. You're playing such phenomenal defense. You got to punt. Noonan, he's showing that fight. Yeah. He's bringing that chip out on his shoulder that we talked about. That's the defense we need. He went to a man-to-man -man with a lot of zone. And uh, Jeff might have had a chance if he scrambled earlier, but big stop right there for Noonan. Appreciate he needed that, that badly. Kick will go out of bounds at the 21 yard line, and here comes Noonan back out on offense. First half is going to be one that he wants to put in the rearview mirror. He got the stop he needed. Now, next step, he needs to put a touchdown on the board. First and 10, goes to the dive with Bush. And Turbo hey, Jeff's defense has, has been absolutely stellar. You can see it in Noonan's face, man. He looks defeated. He looks like he knows he's bagged. He's got to He's gotta get out of that mindset. He's got to think of something because Turbo Jeff just has everything he wants to do in a complete box. Cole Pepper. Baby out route. There's, there's that man, Terry McLaurin. Three of eight, 31 yards passing. Three rushes for negative four yards. TD, this isn't a box. This has multiple boxes inside a warehouse. <laughs> Without a doubt, man. The cage is locked tight, but nice little dot right there. It was a good spacing on that play. He had the wheel route, corner route combo, and then the okay. beat is coming. Pass interference. Ooh, is that going to be an illegal contact? Ooh, roughing the passer. That's a I'll roughing the passer on the user rush. Even better, give him 15 yards, and those are the things that can awaken the offensive mind. A gift for Noonan. That's the break. Those are the type of breaks he needs. <laughs> Unfortunate for Jeff. Noonan now getting a little momentum going. He's going to go down to that I form close, look for a power oh, It's ironic that that play's called Power O because there's been no O or power from that run so far. Absolutely locked up. Yeah, Turbo Jeff just built his team brilliantly because I'd like to see Noonan go to some inside zones maybe, but Turbo Jeff does have two inside stuffs, I believe, and that's going to be very difficult to run on. Second and 10. Oh, no. Boy, yeah, might have had the post route like, super, super game. late, but that two-man rush, it can hold up. It, it'll hold up for a while, but eventually the rush is going to get there. Keeps going to that same route combo, you know, the corner route kind of roll out with the post My behind man, it. Turbo Jeff all box over it, and now Noon's in a tough spot because his quarterback is tired as well. You can see the red on him. Culpepper's tired here, so this is going to be difficult to convert, but he's got to cook something up. Two and a half to go. First of four club finals tonight. So happy to have you guys along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. He'll take off with Culpepper. Oh, it's risky to be scrambling with a quarterback who's fatigued. Gets down in time, fourth and four. Here we go. Game on the line, season on the line for Noonan right now. Uh, Turbo Jeff just has everything he wants. We have the double post right there with a the curl behind it. And Jeff was just all over it. Let's see what Jeff cooks up. Does he bring the user blitz? He does. Here okay. comes Mace. Quick Dropped throw on the corner okay. route. Right, well, Dropped, this, and we're going ridiculous. the other way. Jeff gets the stop, oh, and Noonan, the light has left his yeah, eyes. Yeah. I think he knows his time here is running out. Domination at its finest. Turbo Jeff, just a phenomenal game plan on defense. I love his scheme, man. When you can put, when you can ru only rush two, play phenomenal zone coverage everywhere, and then bring heat when you need to. That's always been my strategy is like, First and second down, kind of play bend but don't break. And then on third and fourth downs, you bring the heat when you need to. And Jeff has done a phenomenal job with that. I'll be some. Here's the scary I'll part for Jeff, some. too. I mean, at this point, you almost feel like he could just take three kneels and pump the ball the way he's playing defense. Push outside on the stretch. Ooh, shoestring tackle at midfield. Third and 11 upcoming. Yeah, I still would have liked, if he would have hiked the ball one less at, at one there, he would have been under 120, and then he would have got under 40. He would have been able to run this quarter out way quicker. I don't like his clock management right now. I know I'm nitpicking, but you just want to get out of this game as fast as possible with the win. 
Make sure you guys keep up with everything going on here in the club championship. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, Madden League Ops. Show some Fight love and keep right apprised of what's go. going on. Good. That's going to be 12 go. yards for Jeff. A first he down. A he's in field goal range. You think he's counting that $5,000 already? <laughs> Great dot right there on that angle route. That's why you get that backfield mass to it, Reggie Bush. He's able to throw that, pick up a big first down, fall forward, and Noonan just looks defeated. Two-time All-American at USC, giving the ball once again. Outside, stays in bounds, keeps the clock rolling, picks up seven. If you are an aspiring competitive Madden player at home, take notes. This is how you close a game out. Out of doubt, Turbo Jeff, just offense, defense, especially the defense, man. Noonan just had nothing from the jump on offense. We're going to see a fullback dive here, get out of the third quarter, uh, up 14 nothing. Just a, just a dominant performance by Turbo Jeff. Yep, nowhere to go for Henry. I think it's the first time we've seen Jeff. Four's up in the chat. We're on to the fourth quarter. 14 skunk right now, third and three upcoming. Back to Bush. How about another first down? Wasn't really a tackle. It was a smart play, uh, I think that was Cromartie, to just lay down in front of Reggie Bush, make him trip over you. Yeah, and that'll do it right there. That first down pretty much solidifies the victory for Turbo Jeff. That power O to the weak side has been the one thing that he, he's had a little bit of success with. You know, his offense hasn't looked great, but with how great his defense has been, he doesn't need to, he hasn't had to do too much on offense. Bush left side. Picks up a bunch. Give him nine. Gonna keep dumping. By the way, all you guys who are hanging out with us in the chat, tune in for at least an hour tonight to earn a crown token used in game to secure a nat 90 overall player. You can keep watching every Tuesday to earn all three and. Make sure you check out the finale of Derwin James vs. The World in February when you can exchange those three for a 97 overall Derwin James. TD, uh, I feel like a 97 overall Derwin. I feel like any Derwin James is good for a Mutt team. A 97 overall might just make it. Definitely. Derwin James is a beast on Madden. He's a beast in real life on the sticks. I can't wait to see him and Chad Johnson Ocho Cinco later tonight. Third and two. You talk about like clock management, right Jeff there. knows how to work that clock. Toss play right, good blocking outside. And he'll pick up the first down. Turbo Jeff's, he's looking comfortable. He, it, it's, like, it's like he knows what to do at this point. Looking to become the three-time champ. Yeah, he's good with kicking three here. So that was kind of a fun play card day. You don't see many tosses out of the goal line. Caught Noonan off guard. And yeah, that'll do it. Jeff, he's cool with kicking three here. Going up three possessions. Game is over. Gotta love the Madden Championship Series. Gotta love being inside Pete's Hut Stadium, the official home of competitive Madden. Can't wait to see the 32 club finalists battle it out, out for the inside Pizza Hut Stadium in January. TD, it's our favorite tournament of the year. Listen, I love them all, but this is our favorite tournament of the year to be a part of. Biggest first place prize ever, $150,000 playing Madden 21. That is just insane. I can't wait to see who's going to walk away with that trophy in that $150,000. And why not? How about the exclamation point? How about the stamp? Three-time champion Turbo Jeff, all but a formality now as Reggie Bush That's hits huge, the end boys. zone. That's Put huge. some respect on that man's name, three-time Broncos club champion. Like I said earlier, Nick, it is so hard to win a club one time and to win your club three years in a row. It, it hasn't been done by many, and, man, just – a huge congratulations to Jeff, man. He played phenomenal. And shout out to Noonan because this, because listen, okay. Noonan's been to three straight finals. He, he was the Philadelphia runner up last year, Denver runner up, and again this year, man. Noonan is a Special great player. It's just, he sister. can't get over Watching that hump. New York. Let's go. <laughs> Always supporting me. I appreciate it. And for Noonan, you almost feel like, at least here in the Broncos Club Championship, 
Turbo Jeff is the Bulls and Noonan is the Jazz. The Jazz is a great team. If it weren't for the Bulls standing in their way every year. Yeah, you got to feel for Noonan, man. Three Atlanta. years of a runner up in a row. It's tough. But we'll it's tough, but it's, it's, a, it's a good accomplishment in itself. It's just, man, how do you get to that next level? And for Noonan, it seems to be his passing offense. That's been what everything that's held him back these last three years. So, you know, going into the next tournament or whether it be next year, he's going to have to improve that passing offense. Okay, not. Second and short for Culpepper. Hey, oh, okay. Yeah, Culpepper had a, a, an intimate meeting right there with uh, the Turbo Jeff defense. Lucky he didn't fumble the football. Third and two, hurrying back to the line. Trying to get a playoff for the two minute warning. Fighting till the end is Noonan. Culpepper. Rolling right. Nobody there. He'll pick up the first down. He'll step out of bounds. Game's three. Appreciate There's that. nothing there for him all day. It seems like he keeps going back to that corner route, trying to roll out. And Jeff just all over it. I mean, just complete box. If you're Noonan, you know, you're trying to get in field goal range as quick as possible. Take, kick your three. Machine. Maybe try an onside kick. McLaurin works his way to the right side. Three more club finals to go tonight, guys. Stick with us. We appreciate you guys hanging out. That's Stefan Diggs. Nice dot that. down the field. And, you know, TD, we're, we all are on Madden Twitter. We saw all the tweets from the various crews about the number of people they had fighting for club finals. You got to feel good if you're 818 starting out 1 0. Yeah, it must feel great for him. Starting out 1 0, first club of the season, taking it down. And we saw, you know, Turbo Jeff was a big favorite coming in this game. You know, our very own Donnie Moore put up the poll. Turbo Jeff uh, beat Noonan handily in that poll, and it showed here today. Now, I got to ask a question. I know somebody probably doesn't want me to ask. Okay, we're one game in. No one's panicking. We're not pulling the fire alarm. But user's 0-1 on his pick so far. <laughs> are we Are we at the okay. Mush 2 Electric Boogaloo? What are we doing here? Are we going to have a repeat of hey, last year? User, we got to do better. <laughs> one, one great user is not one great predictor. I know he's, he's going to rip me for that one in the post-game show, isn't he? The mellow game. He, doesn't, he just doesn't want me to mention it. Sorry, Joel. Minute 49, third and 10 for Noonan. All the battles in the club championship inside Pizza Hut Stadium, the home of competitive Madden. First ever virtual stadium oh, rights deal. Absolutely amazing as that's a pick and that oh, should be GG's in the chat. GG's. So close TD yet so far for Noonan. This has yeah. got to be just just killer. It's got to hurt. You can just see it in his face. You got to feel for the young man. Three years in a row as a runner up man. You really feel for him but once again it's Turbo Jeff's day three years in a row. Oh, man. Put some respect on that man's name, like I said. Just a formality at this point. We'll see if Noonan even decides to use any of those final timeouts. After a close battle last year, it was all Jeff this year. Best part is we got three more games to go tonight. Raiders coming up next. We'll see the Madden 19 club champion Pavin in action. TD, I know you've been excited for that game ever ever since we saw who made the finals. You've been looking forward to that one. Yeah, that's the marquee game for me to watch out for because I don't think people are understanding how good Monster really is. This guy has over 38,000 in career winnings. He's a former club champion. He's a, he's a tournament veteran. I'm super excited for that matchup. I think he does have a decent chance to upset Pavin. It's going to be very difficult to do. Pavin, in my opinion, probably a top three to five player in the world right now. But, yeah, that's the matchup for me. Should be the final play of the game. He'll give it to the workhorse. Reggie Bush picks up the first down. And this, this is the one thing, not the one thing. This is one of the things I miss about doing these tournaments oh, in person. You always love to see the final game, the the the, the tap out, and you, you get to dap up your opponent. You miss it a little bit here in our COVID world. Without a doubt, it's definitely different. But you, you love to see that emotion. Huge, Turbo baby. Jeff, you know, he's, he's a pretty laid-back guy, Let's but you can one. see it coming out now. Three years in a row, congratulations to Turbo Jeff. He does it again. Turbo Jeff, absolutely dominant. He is... 
You're a Madden 21 Broncos Club <laughs> champion. 21 Yo, up, to nothing over Noonan. Uh, TD, it, it really wasn't really. After that first drive that Jeff got the three and out, that was basically ball game. Yeah, I think that was huge for his confidence, too. He kind of let the nerves go. He got that first stop he needed. He's able to get on defense. And from there, it was just easy. And he, he dominated throughout the game. Noonan really never had a chance from the start. You saw that reaction. That was him actually dropping a pick. Uh, and Turbo Jeff is a three-time champ. That's an illustrious company. Uh, TD, not many people have been able to win three times in a single club. Uh, Jeff has this Broncos club championship on lockdown. And uh, right now, I don't know who's going to come out and beat him next year because he has been dominant. Yeah, he really has, man. Three years in a row, like I said, that's so hard to do. The one thing I'm looking forward to seeing with Jeff is once he does get into that final 32, you know, he hasn't had a lot of success in that 32 could this be the year that he takes that leap and possibly makes a run to maybe the final eight, final four, and maybe potentially winning it all? If I remember, I, I think his his biggest win, uh, Madden 19, when he won the Broncos Club Championship, I believe he took out Allen that year. Uh, Allen was the uh, the L.A. Chargers. So much hype around Allen. That was a big win, and, and when Jeff won that, everybody went, oh, could he make a run? Fizzled out a little bit in the end. He certainly has the talent and the lab partners to make a run in January. Yeah, he's always talented on offense. He always has some type of, I remember in 19, he ran like shotgun tight doubles. He always has kind of a unique scheme. Um, he's very balanced with the run and pass, and he plays sound, solid defense. He's just a very balanced, really good player, and he definitely always has a chance to make a run. At tough for Noonan, once again, coming up short. That's three straight runner-up appearances. And I mean, you, you see that stat, TD, and you, you don't appreciate how tough it is just to get to the final of a single team through online ladder play, through the double elimination tournament. It's nothing uh, that anybody sh should say is easy. It's just about taking that next step. And, you know, Noonan's going to be thinking about this loss again uh, for, well, what, about a year until next year's. The one thing he's got to do is just improve when it comes to passing. Noonan's a great player. Like we said, to make it three years in a row is so difficult to do as a runner-up. you got to feel for him because that hurts, man. It's like the Bills – of the 90s, it's like the Jazz, like you said, it hurts, but he's a great player. He's just got to improve on that passing offense if he wants to take that next step to become an elite player. Well, we uh, we get to, we get to talk to the three-time champ off a dominant performance in this Broncos Club Championship Final presented by Snickers. Let's welcome in our champ, Turbo Jeff. Jeff, congratulations. What's up, bro? Uh, this this was really from front to back a complete performance. Uh, really from the first drive, able to get a three and out on Noonan. Take me through that game. Uh, was there any point that you didn't feel like you were in control? No, actually, I definitely felt in control that whole game. There was a, it was a little scary out of half when I uh, got stopped and I made the decision to punt because right there would be the turning point. If he scores, then he can get back in the game. But, uh, no, I felt pretty much in control the whole game. After the first half, he kind of put the game in my hand, so I was able to control the clock from there. Yeah, really great defensive performance, real off offense you, and defense. You. Stellar performance, Jeff. Not only the three-time champ, but you got Three some pretty times, cool baby. stuff. Three times. Three times. Pretty cool stuff for you from the Broncos. You're going to be receiving yep. this Philip Lindsay-signed right. helmet. You got a place for that already? You, you got some place you're going to put that signed helmet? I'm getting a Philip Lizzie signed helmet. Let me yeah. find out the Broncos are, are giving me something. Okay, okay. That's what I like to hear. I've, I've, I've become a big fan of the Broncos over the past three years. Like, I've, Vaughn Miller is literally one of my favorite players now. I just, I'm really happy to receive that helmet. I've, I've been waiting for something. I've been waiting for something. And now this helmet is going to be, uh, I've got to find a nice spot for it, but. I'm really happy to receive that. I'm good to hear that well, news. That's good news. And and I'm hoping they, that TD might have it in his house. He might be able just to run it to you right now. Congratulations, <laughs> Turbo Jeff. Thank you for uh, spending some time with us. And good luck in January at the club championship. First spot filled by Turbo sure, Jeff. Man. He is. Thank you, Nick. Always good talking to you. Club. Always great talking to you, Jeff. We appreciate you. What a game we had to kick off the AFC West. And we got three more games to go.